Hey guys, and welcome to Taylor Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at a simple mechanical keyboard mod that you can do um, on any, at least any Cherry MX style mechanical keyboard, but um, some others as well. Um, and that is to add O-rings to your keys to change the way that they feel and the way that they sound. Okay, so what exactly do I mean when I say adding O-rings? Well, if you look at the way that the mechanical switches work, they have a plunger that goes down um, that the key switch is on top of, and um, as that plunger goes down, it tends to bottom out at the bottom of the switch. This can um, mean that you're pressing the keys further than you really need to to actuate them, and it also makes the keys switch louder. Now, some people like the louder sound. I personally don't. I just enjoy the feel of a mechanical keyboard, although it did take me a long time to get used to the longer key travel. After I got a mechanical keyboard, this was one of the first things that I looked at doing. I didn't do it for a long time because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to work out, but I decided I was going to go ahead and do it, and I figured I'd bring y'all along as I did it. So, how do you put these little rings on? Well, when you get them, you'll get in the baggie a bunch of little rings. Let's pour those guys out as they go all over the floor. That's awesome. Um, God, freaking, no, stop. Back. I really thought that out, didn't I? Out with ya. Why are they using an electrostatic bag? Anyway, so you get a million of these little rubber rings. And what these rings do is... In they go on the keycap of the switch and prevent the keycap from bottoming out the switch and also provide a little bit of a damper so that it reduces sound from those switches bottoming out. Um, I've already changed out two of the keys here, so I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. You've served your purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you here and put this right in front of the microphone so that you can hear it clearly. Now first, this is a normal switch. So you can hear it bottoming out. And this is the same actuation force on a switch that's had a ring done on it. Note that it's not nearly as loud or sharp. This to me is a really nice thing. It's gonna, I think, make it uh, more pleasant to use the keyboard. It would mean that I would wanna take the keyboard to an office environment, which currently I think is just a little bit too loud for. Uh, even though it is an MX Brown equivalent switch. Before I go any further, this keyboard that I'm using is not the highest end of mechanical keyboards. It's a Velocifier VM01. It uses an MX Brown style switch. It is not an actual Cherry MX Brown switch. Um, it is their own knockoff version of it. It does work very well though. It feels nice to me. It's a huge upgrade over a rubber dome keyboard. So um, it runs about 40 bucks. Uh, I didn't do a review on this keyboard after getting it because I had not really been in the uh, PC tech space yet. I hadn't done anything of that nature. And um, I actually got it based off of other YouTube reviews I had seen. So I thought it would be kind of weird for me to review something that I bought because I liked the reviews of it. Anyway, all right, so let's move the camera in and let's get to changing out keycaps. I hope you find what you've been looking
Okay, so we got them all changed. So let's take a quick feel. Ooh, let's see, I don't wanna make sure. Yeah, we can tap on that. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to check it out with gaming and stuff, but man, that feels so much better. So one thing I was worried about when I started this project that I didn't know what to expect was I was worried that it was going to affect the registrate like key presses registering and I haven't noticed that at all. Um, so far it seems like everything is registering just fine. All my keystrokes work just like they're supposed to. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's a lot quieter. It is a little softer on the fingers and I feel like I get the actuation point better than I was before. Um, I was like, I was over pressing the keys. I was bottoming them out. And now I really, it's just a light, quick press where before it was like this long, deep press. Um, I don't know how else to describe the difference. Um, you know, cause they all, the actuation point is always after or well before the key bottoms out. So this seems to make it, the key stop closer to the actuation point. At least it gives you some resistance at the actuation point, which is great. Um, so I'm very happy with it. I like it. I still have a small handful of these guys left over to get lost and sucked into a vacuum. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly uh, am pleased with the result. Um, I think that it's gonna, it's a great little mod. It's, it doesn't take long to do this. It took me less than 20 minutes, um, even while doing a film uh, or while doing a video of it. Um, and you know, a bag of these rings, it's going to be anywhere from seven bucks to 15 bucks, depending on how much you really want to spend for a bunch of little rubber rings. Um, I use the Roswell ones because it's a brand I know, um, and they tend to make decent enough stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to uh, subscribe for more content like this in the future. Also, hit that like button below. Feel free to leave any comments or questions that you have for me in the comments section down below. I love interacting with you guys. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by using the Amazon affiliate links in the description section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.